Hello guys, welcome back to Sweet and Sour Soccer. I can't stop laughing. I've tried this intro about four times now and it's gone wrong every time. Guys, <laughs> hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. This is a special video. We've never done a match preview before, but this is the big one. This is Wolves. Mm -hmm. This is West Brom. This is away at the Boar Fawns. Guys, we've also got our live match reaction that we do after every Wolves game on Monday kick off at six o'clock so we should be live about eight o'clock so do join us for that it is advertised on our page already um we don't even know how long this video is going to be because we never do match reactions um you know, <laughs> match preview see we don't we, i don't even know what i'm saying we're not, we're not starting it again now this is just going <laughs> no we, we, no 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 we're definitely not starting again scott i'm gonna i'm gonna, just gonna ship it over to you because i've i've messed this up so many times already just go I know you've got some mad footballing views at the moment with Wolves, but what are you thinking, man? Wolves, West Brom away, first time in how long? Well, I mean, it's one of them, isn't it? I mean, for those that didn't watch our last match reaction, me and James, are we're at the, we're at the opposite ends at the moment. James is up still. Opposite ends. Opposite ends. Oh, opposite, not opposite. You can't even yeah. talk properly. And this is a great start, that. hasn't it? I think yeah. we'll just let it roll to show people we're definitely not perfect. Um, but yeah, basically, I'm after the last match. I'm on the Nuno outside. James Wrong is on the Nuno inside. Um, it's one of these games, isn't it? If there's an ever, if um, I feel that at the moment people are like 50 50 about Nuno. If there's ever a game to yeah. kind of push people one way or the other, it's going to be this game. If, people, if, yeah. if if we go out and beat West Brom, I might even change my mind because I just don't care about the rest of the season at that stage. Even if we lose every other game the rest of the season, if we beat them this game, that's all I care about. And then well, it goes the other way. If we lose, if we lose, he better not even be allowed back in that changing room. He better... <laughs> But doesn't that tell you that your reasons for Nuno out are just garbage? Because if we lose this one-off game, you're saying that he's not good enough for us. But if he wins it, he's now the man to take us forward. Talking shit. No, because just like, just like all you other Nuno outers, morons. No, because the fact is, he's he's at that stage now because of how bad he's done this season. And let's not go fully into mm. this Nuno thing. But what I'm saying, I, guess, I, guess what, I guess what I'm saying is, no, I'm not going to drastically change my mind. But if there's never a way to start winning back as Nuno outers, it's this game. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. We get thumped 5-1 again, right? Are you telling me oh, you're going to sit here on Monday and go, no, no win? I'll, I'll sit there 10 minutes after the game finishes if we lose 5-1 and say no, no win. Because... Moron. Moron. <laughs> no, no. The only, reason, the only reason I sat... And I'll tell you what, let me give you... Do you know what? I've, been, I've, I've wanted a, an excuse to use these stats. Shall I tell you why we're not going to get... I'm going to tell you why we're not going to get thumped on uh, on Monday. One thing with Wolves is that every time this season we've been pumped, we've always bounced back. And I don't mean in terms of either it's a good performance or just a good result. We bounce back. And I'll give you some examples. Obviously, earlier on in the season, we lost 4-0 to West Ham. Mm -hmm. It was a big, big result at the start of the season because we never knew West Ham were going to go on to be the team that they've been. But the next the next game, we uh, one nil win over Fulham. Clean sheet. We oh, uh, on, no oh, wait. The, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm, the, Fulham, the Fulham game was earlier on in the season, weren't it? Yeah, it was the game straight after when we lost to West Ham four nil. We then went and beat Fulham one nil. Clean sheet. After shipping three at Brighton, if you remember, it was Otter Sowie missed that sitter in the last few minutes. Yeah. Conceded three. The next game, uh, one nil win over Palace in the FA Cup. Clean sheet. After we lost 3 2 to West Brom, the very next game, a 1 0 win over Chorley. I know it's Chorley, but it's a clean sheet. After we lost to three, after we lost 3 2 to West Ham a few weeks ago, and Jesse Lingard played well, the very next game, another another 1 0 win over Fulham, clean sheet. So oh, if we come on, that Fulham game, that Fulham game, sheet. we were absolutely dreadful. Clean sheet. Every we're time we, every time we get battered, out of that game, 
It's a, it was a, even if we'd have finished nil nil, the point is it was a clean sheet. I, every I, time, I, oh my every God. time I, we've I was been honestly points. waiting on those stats and thinking, oh, this is going to be really good. Maybe he's got a point here. I okay, didn't disappoint. Clean, clean sheets, one nil. One nil. It was, it was good. It was good enough for the one nil to the Arsenal. It was good enough for them to win titles. Listen, all I'm saying is the stat to the stats. Every time we take a beating and we concede at least three goals, the very next game is a clean sheet. Irrespective of the okay, tomorrow if we play poorly but get a one nil win in the last minute, are you gonna care? Of course not. That, no, definitely not. No, no, and that's, no. That's the point I'm making. So um, I mean, are you confident? What, what, how are you feeling about this one? Um, I'm really, really nervous because it's West Brom. I speak to a lot of people and they just don't get how big a deal it was when Bowley was walking off. Shake, you know, we talk about our group a lot. I've spoken to people that they just don't get it. They're like a lot of fans talk to the opposite opposition manager after games. But after we lose at home to West Brom, we've conceded three goals and our centre-back is high-fiving Big Sam. You just don't get it. I'm just conv- I'm convinced a lot of our fans, because we never play West Brom anymore, really, I think they're just growing up seeing Villa as the derby and yeah. Birmingham as the derby. They... I've cried at West Brom games away and at home, both being happy and being sad. I've, the passion for this game is something I've never felt. You know, it's it's a, it's a different level. It, it, I feel sick watching the game. I genuinely do. And I think some people just don't get it. As, I'm think, not confident think, in terms of getting them, it. Especially for those that are probably look below the age of 21. You almost can't blame them for it nowadays. But... Because as you say, we haven't played them. This is our first season in ten years of, and even then, they've not actually been able to, you know, really see what this derby's about. There's, you know, people talk about Villa. People would talk about Blues. I mean, a derby day against West Brom, the whole city's just usually just a different spectacle. Something that you know, yeah. I remember the Jay Buffroyd one, um, one nil. It was like a party in the streets. Um, after that yeah. game, you know, um, but it's what it is uh, in general about this game. I don't think people are confident. I was having a chat to people this morning in the uh, the gym I go to, and nobody nobody thinks we're going to win it. And I don't know if that's just because the last game, I yeah. thought we all thought this is our moment, and it just really wasn't our moment. But people are just telling themselves, "Yeah, we're not going to win this one because we just don't want to go through that pain again." Yeah, the sad thing is, is that if we'd have played West Brom in at any other point in the last three years, even when we won the championship and they came down, our team would have spanked their team that year. Do you know what I mean? So it, it's just very unlucky that we're playing them at the first time in a while, and they beat us. You know, last year and the year before, you think we'd have beat them quite easily. Um, but am I confident on getting a result? I have to say yes, only because of the stats I gave before, but also, you know, I've got to back my team. And I, yeah. I'm not one of these blind fans that predicts wins after week, after week, after week. Um, although after the after the uh, Burnley game in our match reaction, you asked me if I was confident on, in beating West Brom. And I did say no. Um, but I, do, I think I've got to be. I, 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 there's got to be a bounce back after that Burnley game. If we'd have won that Burnley game 1-0 or a 0-0 draw, I'd have been less confident than I am now after losing 4-0, if that makes sense. I think everyone's worried, aren't we? If West Brom, obviously, they're going to go down. Now, there's not really any way back. Unfortunately, we can't be the ones to relegate them this week. But if they go down and they've done the double over us, they're always going to have a laughing point at us, no matter what we do. Is that a laughing point? Or is that just clutching? Is that If any West Brom fan in a pub or a bar or online said to me, oh, we did the double over you, I'm like... You're playing 46 games. We, we, we're talking about. What do you mean you did the double over us? We're the championship, you moron. We, no, we played yeah, in the Europe last season. We're in the I don't want them to have league. anything. I don't want them to have anything. That's my thing. And yeah, you can't have I mean, everything. As, as Wolves fans, I don't care what anyone says. We've all been giving it the big one to them over the past three, four years, especially when we found <laughs> out they were coming up. It was like, 
Yeah. Look at our team. Look at theirs. We're going to do them. So we've got to win this one. I mean, one thing that is potentially, and, you know, it's a massive talking point, Nuno hinted that Raul might be back. He said that he's fit yeah. enough to play. He just needs the medical clearance. And he suggested that they could get it on before Monday. Nuno, with how coy he is, I'd be very surprised if we don't see Jimenez at least on the bench. Um, because to, to come out and say that, I think that he might be back on Monday. And, and then, then not, not to it. not to be back. I just can't see it myself. What about what about you? Do you reckon he's I just he's imagine, 99% sure that we are gonna see Raul back on that bench? You've got to think he'll be on the bench. I mean, if this was years ago when you only had five or even seven subs, he might not have taken the risk. But now that you can basically have your entire squad involved in the match in the match day, I think you will. Can you imagine an hour before kickoff? in all the bars or the pubs um, across the country, in all the living rooms, if they check Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and just see Jimenez, Jimenez on the bench, the limbs, my I God. I think even if he doesn't come on, I think it's going to be that psychological lift for just, everyone at home. And I think the, the players, players as well. well, though, the players, yeah. I think for the players, it'll make a big, big difference just to see him there in the changing rooms before the game, putting his socks on ready with his boots you know I think it'll make a massive massive difference it just seems written it's nil nil or it's yeah. one one in the 80th minute Raul comes on and it's a header or something or just it's a header and Traore is the one to say it up and that dream team just oh, unite imagine, imagine the first game back and Adama cross Raul finish God right. yeah. typical Adama cross he beats three players he puts it somewhere towards the back post with not much pace on it at all but <laughs> Raul, Raul just knows it him. He knows where it's going, and he's gonna get that head on it. And he, you know, he's gonna bring us all the joy. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it would be one of the highlight. I think it could be the highlight of our Premier League campaign. Forget the double over City. Forget the Europa League. I think that would be after thinking he might never play again to coming back and if he scored the winner against West Brom, wow. Uh, just to just to touch on the baggies a little bit because obviously um, you know we are Wolves fans, but we, our channel is also a general football channel. We need to touch on them. Are there any players in that West Brom team? You know, obviously forgetting the um, putting aside Pereira for obvious reasons because he's a I hate to say it, he is a talent. Ivanovic is still out for the season. There is a slight chance uh, chance they're saying that Snodgrass could come back, but. Um, he had to have an epidural, so it's unlikely. But do you think they shouldn't be beating us on paper, should they? They shouldn't. But, I mean, look, last game, they suddenly pulled it out from nowhere. And they have done it before, you know, not just against us. You look at the Chelsea result. Yeah. But they, on paper, they're just, you know, they are what they are. They deserve to go down. I think even West Brom fans would look at that team and say, look, we're... We're not a Premier League outfit. They haven't had the investment that they would have hoped for in the team either, having gone up. Um, yeah. But you just don't know, do you, on a derby day? And as I say, not even on a derby day. They do somehow manage to pull off these shop results from time to time. So, I mean, your question is, am I worried about any particular player? In one way, no. But in another way, I'm worried about every single one of them. Yeah, no, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. If I had to put you on the spot and you had to give a score line, if you had to put a fiver on it, what would you put? Honestly, and if you want to say 1-0 West Brom, you know, don't be one of those fans that says, oh, 5-0 Wolves. You know, what do you think, man? Honestly, I think it's going to be a 1-1. I, I just... Which which would... It'd be one of them. I don't think it would anger Wolves fans as much, but, you know... It would still give, give West Brom fans that moral win because we still failed to beat them and they beat us. Um, yeah, I'm and gonna they have can that. have their moral win in the championship. One, and I wish I didn't, but you know, I've got to give my honest prediction, and that is my honest prediction. And obviously, I I really hope I'm wrong, but well, we are still my honest prediction. I don't know. We are still the only team in the Premier League this season who haven't lost a game after scoring first. So oh, surely no, sorry. from your stats, you're going to go 1-0 Wolves, I'm guessing. From that stat, <laughs> yeah, <game> based, <laughs> based on everything that I've given, if I don't say 1-0 Wolves, I'm just a moron. 
No, I don't know. I think well, we're, the, we're either the first, we're the only team that hasn't lost after going after scoring first, or hasn't gone on to win that game. But I think it hasn't lost. Um, I think if we if we score first, I think you've got to fancy us because I think we will shut them out if we score first. I do believe that. I think if you see us score first on Monday, whether it's in the first minute or the thirtieth minute, I think we. Sc- I think we're going to win the game. The other depressing stat is that we've only scored three goals in the first 15 minutes of a match. Uh, I saw that, yeah. And I think one three of the times this season. I think one of them was there. Ruben Neves scraped it, didn't he? I think he got 14th minute or something. Oh, I didn't even know that. But, well, what was more depressing for me is that two of those three were in the first game of the season against Sheffield United. <laughs> so... You know, yeah, well, the other, as I say, the other one, I think Ruben Neves literally just about scraped it. So um, that that, not, that, does, that doesn't make it any more um, impressive, does it? But it's probably going to be. It's you put you're going to put you're going to put your money on a nil nil at half time if you're betting man on you. That's what normally happens in Wolves games. Because I think Nuno will do after that three nil, and obviously that you know at three nil it was a four nil, weren't it? Sorry, against Burnley. Um, yeah. I think after that, he's going to look to play it. It'd be surprising if he came all guns blazing. I think he's going to be quite Nuno-esque and he's going to probably um, look to stabilise, look to make us comfortable. And then that second half, we'll see us push on. I don't think Wolves fans will particularly like that. But if it means we go in at nil-nil at half-time you- and we really push on the second half and it gets us the win, I think we'd all take it. Um Having said Without, that, um, do you reckon back four or back five? I was just about to say almost the same thing to you. Not including Raul, do you see any one? Do you see any surprise inclusions in the in the first eleven tomorrow? And two, what would be your not just a back four, or back five? What would be your lineup tomorrow? I haven't even thought about this, so I don't know why I'm asking you because I could yeah, make us look stupid. I'll give you time to think as I ramble on for a couple of minutes. There's a, yeah. there's a couple of things you've got to consider here, and one thing I did want to bring up is Nuno dropped that very coy thing that we might have more injuries than, and no one's really yeah. sure who. No yeah. one's sure who, but we could potentially have more injuries than, you know, he mentioned that he's not going to give anything away because he do not want to give that away to the opposition, which makes sense. And, you know, usually we, you know, Wolves fans do our detective work and we're like, well, that person weren't in training, the training photo, et cetera, et cetera. I've not really seen any of that, so I don't know who. So that could potentially dictate the lineup. Um, I'd like him to go a back four, but it... Uh, It'd be one of those games that if he does go for a back five, and usually I would go in on him for that, especially in our recent games against Fulham and Burnley. I've been like, well, why have we not gone for it more? Yeah, I, I guess I'd, I wouldn't blame him for being a bit more cautious on this one. I'd love to see a back four. I'd love to see a back four. And, you know, I think the injuries could dictate whether we see a back four or five as well. Um, I'd love oh, what what three- I don't want to see, I, if we do play a four... I'm tired of this 4-3-3 with this squad. We can't do it. If we're going to play a 4, we have to play a 4-2-3-1. We need more banks. So he's obviously going to play Jose up front. That's a given. He's not going to play Silva. So Mm -hmm. you've got... And Jose is one of the most immobile players I've ever seen in my life. But you've got Jose pretending to press the first man. Then you've got a bank of three. Then you've got a bank of two. And then you get to the back, uh, the back four. This 4-3-3, four, three, three, if they get past the first three, you've effectively got a midfield then of, oh, Zhao's injured. So you'd probably have Donks, Neves and... <sighs> this is how bad our squad is. Does he... <laughs> he wouldn't even throw Atasoe in what? there, would he? Does he... Well, so that, maybe that, that's twice, you... maybe he throws him. I was going to say that's why you're thinking he perhaps is going for that five, but... I do agree with you. I'd like to see this 4-2-3-1. Um, it's, it's one of them. I'd actually, it's a big risk, but I'd actually like to see Corbanu, Cor- 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 however you pronounce it out, on that um, left-hand side. And I'd like to see Podence as a 10, because I don't think Podence is a winger. I've said this before. Podence is that attacking mid we've been perhaps missing. I'd prefer to see that. And Otazawi midweek, 
I know it was an under-23 game, but my God, that guy came with the smoke. He was ploughing through that. Um, you know, he was literally ploughing through you know that, that under-23 team. team. Um, you know, he I'll looked really impressive. So if I saw him as a surprise star, I wouldn't mind that as well. But I, can't I don't see know. I, I don't... I want him to play the youth at some stage, but I wouldn't. This is one of them. If we do see the usual Donk Neves, I wouldn't complain too much. But I do, I do personally want to see this four-two-three-one that you've mentioned. What if you see a back five of Cody Bowley, Donks, and a midfield two of Sice and Neves? I don't think that's too bad. I, I want to see Sice back in the midfield. I wouldn't mind seeing Kilman get the nod if we go a back five. In fact, I'll say well. I don't mind. I'll, I'll want to see Kilman in that back five if we go for it, especially after shipping four goals. If we go for a back five, you can't play that same back five. But we saw. I, I don't. I don't see him dropping size for Kilman. If he's going to drop, if he's going to play Kilman, he will either play him at a, as a as a proper left back, not a left wing back. He'll be a proper left back, or size would go into the midfield. I just don't think he's going to drop size for anything. I just really, I just can't see it. It's just one of them, isn't it? I think I really want to see the four-two-three-one, and I want to see Podence play as that attacking mid. Um, but if he does shove him out on the wing, you know, we've got Ventina, we've got Gibbs, we've got Otazawi. I wouldn't object to any of those getting a game. To be honest with you, even in a derby, you want yeah, to win this even game in a derby. Out. In fact, if you're going to play Gibbs or you're going to play Otazawi, now's the game to do it because they're academy lads. They're going to know what it's about. You'd like to, you'd like to think so. You'd like to think so. If let me put it this way, Gibbs White, um, you know, I think his girlfriend once again did another stupid tweet about people get like it was basically going in on Wolves fans for getting on her back for supporting oh, her she? boyfriend, which you know that. is a shame. People came out and said, look, you know. He'd started to amend, amend this relationship a little bit after his performances of late have obviously been a bit more impressive. If there's a moment for Gibbs to get the Wolves fans back on side, it would be this game, wouldn't it? And yeah. it's a risk. It's a risk. It is a massive risk. But if I saw him in the starting lineup as that 10, you know. I'd be very excited. I'd be I'd be excited. I feel I, I still feel like this guy wants to do well by Wolves. I really do. Um, yeah. You know, and you know, I, I I perhaps feel that you know we can't really blame him just because his missus is perhaps not media trained on how to how to media treat. Trained. I think that's being very very polite. <laughs> um, so, Scott, you're going for one one draw. I'm. Uh, I might. You've got I'm that one now. I kind I kind of have to go one nil now, don't I? Yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna go one nil Wolves. I was gonna I was gonna bottle the score line, but give a win uh, prediction. But nah, fuck it. I'm gonna go one nil. I'm gonna go. I said I said earlier in the video that you sh uh, you know we shouldn't just say stuff for the fairy tales, but fuck it. One nil. Raúl Jiménez, 82nd minute, a Dharma cross from the left hand side, back post. Imagine that came true. People will be asking me for the lottery numbers next week. <laughs> Guys, um, this is our first ever match uh, match preview. So if it is a little bit shaky, as always, we try not to plan these videos at all, honestly. We like to keep it organic. That's why sometimes they seem pretty shit. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Uh, put, it, put it in the comments. What do you think? If you are watching this before the game, before you do join us for the live match reaction, let us know. Do you uh, do you see any surprise inclusions in the team sheets, both from the baggies and for for wolves? Uh, you know, give us your score lines. What do you think is going to happen? Um, and you know, all I can say is, if as long as if we if we get battered again, my god, oh god. If we get battered, you best come on this, that match reaction saying Nuno you know, out. <laughs> Can't promise that, guys. No, no, anyway, later. I'll do my usual. Um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one. The next one. Oh God. Take care. Take care. <laughs>